Yasuda! So let's see who it was that went through. Oh, now this is a moment on the inside from Rensata. Oh my goodness! That is a big one. That is a big one. That's the worst kind of accident you're ever going to see at 130R. Yuko Sasahara was the other car involved in that. Wow. Here to pull the band, another point two out on the hills. Oh, change up for the lead bus already. Oh, massive moment into turn four. Huge moment into turn four. Shrixwood on the inside of Lendl Janssen. Here for Andrea Kimi Antonelli. He wins here at Mugello. Oh, a close. Oh, goodness me. A huge crash across the line as Martinia Stenshorn and Santiago Ramos were battling through towards the chequered flag. I think is Roman Belinsky, uh, who is also caught up. So here's Imo Fettipaldi Jr. He spins. Uh, here comes Maya Verg now, unsighted behind Maschio. And there's uh, Nikhil Bora, apologies, uh, who's just caught up in all of that as well. It's going to be three wide to the breaking zone. They bang wheels, the BHM teammates. Who's that trying to break through the second? Up in the air. We've got a couple of drivers rolling. Oh my goodness. A big shot, a big shot. One car goes up and another one goes over. It's Benavidez that rolls it. He is so lucky that that didn't go full 360. The green flag at the back of the grid, the five red lights. Ugo on pole position and he goes nowhere. Ugo Tuku has stalled from pole. What a disaster for the American. And he's been collected big time. One car upside down with second WSK title, winning the WSK Supermaster Series. Oh boy, up and over one of the AKM cars. A big end for end. A monster crash. And now Wharton gives the slipstream to Kaspar Stuka, who pulls out 239 k's up the straight into the wall. In the background, we've lost. It's a big one too. It is one of the VAR cars. It is an almighty crash at one of the most infamous and dangerous corners in world motorsport. This is what happened. Oh, that's a big one. Multiple cars involved in that. Bit on Bakhti, there's Spinner going on through. Mais pour combien de tours encore et surtout il va falloir... Et voilà, et voilà, et oui, et voilà. Attention, c'est ce qu'on pouvait craindre et accrochage. Là, ça va être un drapeau rouge malheureusement. Con l'ottimo spunto da parte di Felix Grossi Aschoff, ma Phil Stratford, come vedete, riesce subito a prendere attenzione. Oh, bloccaggio! Oh, bloccaggio oh, e decolla oh. la vettura, la vettura di Thomas Zeltner. And Alcabasi gets away from the pit lane as they make their way to the first breaking zone of the year and there's a huge shunt to the back. It's Chloe Grant in the ART car, upside down. Heading down the inside, Noel Leone was very nearly urged onto the grass. Oh, he touched it! Again. Oh! Goodness me! That was a huge crash. Couldn't quite see which one that was. Oh, it's Charlie, Charlie Burtz. Where he might have been given guidance from the marshal. Exactly. The back. Oh, he just got on the grass. Massive, massive crash. Again, it's just showing the, the safety of these cars. Stay no restart. Um beijo, Kevin Reis. Four laps to go. Olha aí, ó. Com... Eita, papai. Nossa. Meu amigo. Que imagem. A imagem Olha vale eixo, mais do que mil palavras. É. Por outro ângulo. Nossa. Que imagem. Over Henry Godsacker. And Matt Travis is up to the third spot, as you called, Cal. Perfect oh, stuff. Oh, this is going to be one. big. Big, big hit there. Elias Sabo. We'll see how this evolves. Oh, it is a lot deeper. That was uh, coming through the little kink there. I thought it was earlier in that sequence of corners. They go door to door and tops it is through. Getting Cook looking to follow him through oh, and a big, big off in turn number one. That is the John Jesbray driven Supra. Behind as cars work their way up and over the hill right now as they try to make it contact there and the car spinning around. That's the 37 Harry Chung hard into the barriers around the outside. Rub indoors a little bit with the tech sport driver coming up through turn eight. There it is. Joe, how do you see that one? If I'm honest, the initial moment to apex there a little bit. The car's just slightly wide, pushes up to the outside, and just, oh, just brutal impact.
before. The rule per the driver's meeting was you must have your left side tires up to or across those white hash marks. Well, there's no possible way. Just got it a little bit wrong. Just way too much speed. Whoa, and up and over the back of the Aston Martin of Rory van der Sturt. Now, let's see if we can uh, work out what happened there. Oh, my goodness me, it was a huge one. One, two, three and a half. Pushed to the lead, literally, with a bump. Not just, oh, he's been hit again, he's going off. This is going to be huge. Oh, no. In the uphill, and this carnage. Roland is involved, uh, Jonathan Newdorf is involved as well as full course yellow does now wave. Eased his way onto the right hand side of the track for a moment he took the lead. Here comes Neuer as well in the number 13, the black and white car. Oh, there's a spin, Matthew Dirks has gone around, this is going to be another big one, huge incident, oh, huge that's, incident. That's Woody Hyman. Hyman getting kicked around, all kinds of debris from the sponsors, logos. Pops out on Chuck McTudis is going to go side by side to the uphill S's uh, on this first lap. Yeah, and oh, big crash, big, big oh, crash in the background. Oh, huge shunt. Un pochino incastiti dal gruppo, arrivano aperti a ventaglio i piloti con Pier Andrea De Marco. Ma largo un botto, attenzione, un botto violentissimo. Ai Cimini, una vettura si ribalta. Non abbiamo visto di chi si trattasse. Rientra i box, la vettura di sicurezza riparte la corsa con Roccadelli negli scarichi. Il Davide Uboldi che però dà giustamente il ritmo, attenzione, contatto. Sta guardando. Ecco il replay proprio della ripartenza intanto col contatto, è arrivato brutto tra l'altro, è eh, no, lì no, in uscita dalla parabolica con Ferri che ha colpito il posteriore di Sonia Roussel. Eh, ma Sonia Roussel ha distrutto la macchina. Sì, sì, ha distrutto veramente la macchina perché ha sbattuto una velocità. Scattano in questo momento con Volte che è rimasto fermo al palo e si crea il caos, viene centrato il pilota Estone, Estone quindi bandiera rossa sicuramente perché la pista è impraticabile. Chu 아 여기서 박석찬 선수가 아 그대로 정면으로 박아 버렸습니다. 피하기에는 너무나 부족한 코너였어요. 72 km/h. 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 Ce coup, on va revoir peut-être. Il perd l'arrière de la voiture tout seul et puis il vient ici percuter le mur. On en parlait des pneus froids, Vincent. C'est exactement ce qui se passe ici, en fait. Hein. C'est les pneus froids à l'arrière. Enfin, de Tristan Clé à Bruno Norégrag. Euh, à l'image, là, euh, Franck Chaigny. Oh, voilà, ça a tapé sortie. pour Henri Bizet ouais, Ça a tapé, tapé. Ouais. Ouh, Et puis, euh, oh et là, ouais, là 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 ouais. Carambolage ouais. Henri Bizet Oh, ouais, ça prend feu, feu. C'est Jérémy Hazard qui prend feu Avec. Sort... Ouais, il va falloir vite sortir Jérémy des voitures. Jérémy Hazard, Patrick Tom, Bruno Norégrad. Attention, le sort rapidement. Donc certes, le côté mécanique est dramatique, évidemment, mais restons évidemment concentrés sur la partie humaine et sur les dégâts humains. Ah ouais, ça a tapé fort ça a tapé hein, derrière. Fort. Et je crois ça a tapé que... très très fort derrière. Alors, ouais, là, ça a été vraiment compliqué et de, tout de suite après, ça, ça s'enflamme. Mais attention, parce que regardez, également regardez, le feu, le feu. Regardez, le feu. Regardez, le feu. Dire consequences. Now, those cars pretty close to the edge of the road, and more mayhem over the line. That's James Murphy into the wall, and the red light comes on. Are oh, they going to go again? Oh, they decided to ever. keep going. And I don't. Oh, oh no, Brzezinski's in the wall. Brzezinski in the background is in the fence. Oh, oh there's a confusion, and now Sherwell. It's got out of control. Contact with Jerzy Spinkovic. And Savoia, oh, he ended up on the gravel, couldn't get the car turned. Oh, and did Spigovic roll? Yes, he did. Goodness me. Well, I'm glad to say that we've already seen Jerzy Spigovic out of the car. 
But all oh, that was a heavy landing on the roof there as well as the car continued to rotate. A number of rolls there. You'll be unsurprised to hear that the safety car has been deployed. One, two, three, four, five, and even six rotations. Between the two teammate cars, the uh, uh, the uh, number seven and the number nine are under oh. investigation. And that is Stanislav Novikov, who's uh, flipped. And, well, I'm not sure what happened there. There, we've got Will Orton in the mix as well. Nelson King oh, in no. third place, and that is a straight on. Oh, loss of brakes was that. To overtake, you've got to be brave on that wet line. Mackenzie Walker was a little bit too brave. And, oh, big incident for Elman off on the approach to Hall Benz. That is a big impact. Pomarski still in the walls there as she made her way out of the old hairpin, still side by side with Charlie Hart. Oh, no. oh, and two drivers off. That's Leah Robinson. Oh, very heavy into the wall there. Hopefully the driver's all okay from that one. Safely down through the crane occurs, and Mulryan really needed that second Ooh. bite of the cherry there, didn't he? Oh, no, that's Jensen O'Neill going airborne, and over he goes, and that is a big crash for Jensen O'Neill going down at the bottom of the old hairpin. That is a big one indeed. It's all clear at the moment. Three car going. Oh, there's nice contact there! Two base and that's John Nickel. Very nasty consequences. Hold up the anxiety. Let's see how this uh, develops there. I guess Maddie there to the inside on Gleason. Yes. Das hat's auch dann kann man uns dann in Ruhe das noch mal anschauen. Ja, das ist der typische Schwedenkreuzungsfall. Jetzt schlägt er ein und dann fängt er an sich zu überschlagen. Wow, ei, 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 ei. Gut zu sehen. Ah, Fenster ist auch auf. Ne? Wer fasst der Kopf noch raus? Sieht direkt die Hände davor das Gesicht gehalten. Oh, der hat aber vorher schon ein Problem. Da ist ein Problem. Motorplatzer und dann rutscht er auf seinem eigenen Öl aus, würde ich mal fast vermuten. Ja, genau so ist es. Ei, 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 ei. Ach du Scheiße. Dann noch mal aufgestiegen, hoch ganz seitlich überschlagen. Dann noch zwei weitere dahinter, die auch auf dieser Ölspur natürlich ausrutschen. Simon Björk Christensen mit in flott, flott, overhaling, double overhaling, går fra 3 til 1 Der er lidt ballade nede bagved. Og så er der ballade længere tilbage. Oh. Nej. Den blev så i dag, den der. Du vai pegando. A linha ali do Daniel Serra. Julinho Campos dá uma pegada na grama, dá uma balançada quase forte. que ele atravessou. Vamos com o safety car Lucas Forest na barreira de pneus. Na saída da 2 para 3. Já tem pneu esparramado na pista. O Julinho dá essa primeira escapada aqui, mas lá atrás já está vindo o Forest. Olha lá, ele passa reto lá atrás. Aparentemente um enrosco com o Enzo Elias. Mais forte a pancada, hein? Vamos combinar. Olha, Olha isso. Olha onde foi. Bom, aí a gente isso tem um barranco. Isso é a barreira do outro lado. Isso Sim. explica porque tem pneu. Tempo que os seis disputa estão juntos. Tá a disputa está sensacional aqui em Goiânia. Ai. E aí Ai. tem toque aqui na reta. Né? O Cinho Casagrande, Cacá Bueno, uma batida forte. Agora esquece bandeira vermelha, fim de prova. Ai. Pneu voando, Ai. os carros vêm ali a alta velocidade. Passa de novo acertando o pneu. Ai, que Passa ali. Acertou o Felipe Massa. E também... O Digo Batista. Nossa, que cena, hein? Mais uma etapa com um acidente impressionante. Nossa, muito forte. E o Kaká vinha com push, né, meu amigo? É. É muito complicado, não tem como o piloto segurar. Fica por dentro o Beirão, aí vai faltar espaço para todo mundo. E o líder do campeonato viu o mundo ao contrário. O ponto é de risco e o acidente forte entre Jorge Martelli e Diogo Moscato. Para cima deles também de todos os Ramazauskas. Porto abre um pouquinho para fazer uma tangência melhor, ele abriu para cima de onde estava o Dorivaldo Gondra. Os primeiros pilotos ali da fila conseguiram visualizar. Que já está 20 segundos atrás. Olha a escapada, Vitor Forest. Ai, ai, ai. Para, para, segura. E a batida é forte. forte. A batida é forte. Vitor Forest no fim da reta oposta. Safety car imediatamente na pista. Vai ter safety car na pista. Bateu no guarda-reio aqui do lado interno. Pancada esquisita, mas que pancada forte do Léo Sanches, Lipe, Paiga. A vinda como veio, acabou perdendo a frente por ali. 
é, foi mais feio do que qualquer outra coisa, né? Pegou a parte positiva, foi a pancada lateral pelo lado do que seria no carona. Os comissários desportivos vão trabalhando e tem mais disputa por posições aqui. Agora você vê ali a ultrapassagem, é o carro 44. Botando Eita lasqueira. Lado. Opa! Roda com roda, é espelho com espelho. Tem for white na reta de Taruma! Tem for white aí, já deu besteira! E aí já tem uma panca muito forte com o Thiago Tambasco, com o Hernani Kuhn e com o Guilherme Sirtoli. Ô, oh, na, na F Truck Bomba Injeto. Oh, olha só que pancada ficou! Meu Deus, que pancada! Vamos ver aí se tem. Olha, saiu sozinho e freou bem ali o, jo o Giovanni Tavares. Bateu na mureta. Division 1 leaders and Rivex has gotten through into second in class as well. Bid gets past Yates in the 33. Oh, and a big moment on the first lap of the race. Big, big moment there. One of the Reed trucks sent up. File and through side by side. This is where we've oh. seen so many problems and contact already for a McLaren. Uh -huh. I think that's Rosenquist. Felix Rosenquist with more damage in the back. The track is total oh. chaos. Looks like Devil and Dean Francesco airborne further back. I'm not even sure this was related. Hit. It looks like maybe I want to say it was Santino Ferrucci. No, David Malucas, I think. No, Santino Ferrucci. Sorry, and the black car got into the back. Oh my goodness. Big, uh, big rear lock. Cohen hurt. Oh, we just oh. oh. We have a car up and over. Kyle Kirkwood's in. Ball. That looks like Jack Harvey as well. Oh boy, somebody's running oh. up hard. Our first crash. Oh, Who is boy. that? It's Catherine Leg in the wall and Stefan Wilson. You can see that coming from a mile away. Catherine Leg. Felix Rosenquist moves that shell car. Oh! Felix in the wall, big time. This is going to be a big hit right here. I don't know if he's going to keep it out of the turn two wall. Oh no! Kirkwood. Ooh. Kirkwood upside down. Guys, this will be a red flag almost certainly. Huge impact. Did not like each other in practice on Friday, and Ward goes to the front. A Ward on the inside of oh! the Lotus, and it's in and spins. Pezzo and Ward has crashed out of the Indianapolis 500. That was a wild ride for Pato. A Ward thought about going to the inside, came up, went back down for a late Very move. Good. Other cars involved. Augustine Canapino moving slowly, and it looks like one of the Meyer Shankage. Oh! No control, obviously, for Canapino. Oh! No! Big trouble. That is Elio, oh, no, sorry, Simon Pagino, barrel rolling. Enter your mind uh, immediately. You're in a, a bit of shock. Oh! Wow. Unless he gives the spot back, I guarantee you race control will be on the radio with him right now. It was it. Oh, we have huge contact going down into turn number seven. That is Max Garcia. Let's see what happens. I think Cox is going to get cleared out when he comes over top of him. Yep. So there's the, there's the jump over, breaking zone trouble, and Cox gets a little sideways. Oh. Ooh. Oh, and you wonder why we have the halo on these race cars right now. Thank goodness. Oh, goodness me. Got out onto the track. Right here we go. There we go. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. So I, I think know. he said I think he said throttle got stuck. And you can see I think Yeah. Well that's so true. Here's what, right, here's what happened to Eduardo Montara first of all. He lost it basically uh, the same very way. Very similar did. to Buemi, yeah. Three o'clock this morning repairing it. So here's Whoa! Gunter nearly mm, So one car one car did see him and uh, Sam didn't manage to Yellow flag is out, that's down at turn six, so that's a fast part off the track. Yeah, it's another crash, it's, it's a Jaguar. Jaguar, it's Sam Bird! Sam Bird has crashed out! Oh, oh no, that's absolutely huge, Sebastian Mouaini into the side of him, red flag is immediately out on lap nine. Yeah, this could be important, let's have another look. So this is Bird's crash. Mouaini goes into the back of it there as well. Competitive effect. Oh, and that's Mortara, that's the one that's really, really nasty. Robin Freund's involved in there. The 03 slowing, the field going by. Now watch the background for the 782 and just oh. gets in. That is a massive impact. A massive impact. Sending the 82 over on its roof. He lands back on all four wheels. Oh, oh that's hard to that is hard to watch. 
Sean Tong, who leads its Nikai in second place. And now coming under uh, the attention of Paul Poon. Oh, goodness me. Big off in the background, and Ryan Wong is involved in it as well. Red flag straight away. Race stopped because we've got four cars involved. So here it is again. So Lamp Car Chuck, he just loses it. Pure and simple. Can't slow the car down, hits the barrier, comes across the road, and Ryan Wong thinks, I'm going to go that way, but he ends up sort of hitting the brakes and spinning and being hit. And then the car that's hit him, look, comes across the road and gets collected as well. So, look, Ryan Wong confronted with that car. Oh, I think it might have been hit from behind anyway, actually. Big, big impact. And then it's number six of Li Wengji. Oh, and we've got the number 17 car now, that's Anderson here, and uh, that car in the middle of the track. Somebody has a moment. Darrow Young's that. last um, improvement on pole time was mm. impressive because it was perfect. Oh, he's been oh, clobbered, no. sorry, Alan, to interrupt you, but the, that's after a red flag. Here you go in replay. The Aston is there, red flags are flying, and bang. Oh, dear, oh, dear was all over Daniel Serra's Ferrari like a rash, but he's not quite been able to get up alongside in time. And a big, big crash for Adelie Fong. Adelie Fong is in the wall. Safety car is called, and that is a very badly damaged Audi. It was sideways, it hit the wall, and he tried to turn away oh. from the next wall, but he just couldn't. It speared it across the road at huge speed. That is a big accident, and Macau has bitten again. He's not Danny giving Franco, it up. But Matt Kurczewski fighting back and claiming second place on the racetrack as there oh. is carnage behind Dylan Medler is into the guardrail hard. And that was due to contact with Roberta Perenna. All the front end damage. That was Dylan Medler. He is the car who finished third. He's not going to be driving to the podium. The integral safety of the 4A Challenge Evo. Back end of the car just got away from him and therefore front and rear impact on a couple of occasions and as you can see oh my oh. goodness me that's Hans Skeltemar involved in that Nico I don't know about the other car I couldn't quite pick it out and uh, same message to Surreal um, Ooh, I, uh, my that goodness me Nico quite an impact on the oh do you know what that is so good to see Motohiko Izazaki, who was P1. Oh, oh no! And he overcooks it there. He keeps it and therefore... No, no! no. Oh, oh that big is... impact! Oh, heavens. That will be an immediate, an immediate red flag. So, you know, he's not going to run out of tyres later on in this race either. Uh, that coupled together with me, a very quick driver. And there's an opportunity now uh, for a change of the cup. But Shaolin coming together between the top two. Paul Rogers and Marcus Vivian come together on the way out of Agostini. Got up the inside, got alongside, got his nose maybe slightly in front. And it wasn't a huge contact, side on uh, contact between them as Marcus came across uh, to try and take his line, but there was. Now, I wonder if we can hold on to that shot a bit longer. What's going to happen in the background? Oh, blimey. Horrible accident. Okay, so. Got the purple on the front. Big dive down the inside. And a tip, oh right, that's really unfortunate. Because, oh my goodness, head on, head on. So let's try and work out what happened here. Well, all right, so in fact, it was just a complete brain or brake fade by Jeff. So he's in behind John Getz. I reckon he's gonna just go over the curb. He tries yep. to pinch it. He tried to not go over the curb, pinched it and I'm afraid his momentum and gravity took over. He tries to get to the right-hand side of John Getz and just loses the car. 5.1 seconds off the lead. Wow, Alex Davison. Alex was having a huge lunch down the inside. Oh. And there's massive contact. That'll be it. That'll be it. Alex. No. Oh, that's Safety huge. Scramble. That is huge. That'll be the race. Faltou pouco para que o Josimar conseguisse. Ó, foi o Nelsinho Monteiro quem desviou ali. Uma pancada realmente muito forte. Quando foi atingido pelo Josimar, o carro do Paulo Souza acabou perdendo ali a roda. É, uma pancada muito forte. Como eles destacaram, o melhor é que está todo mundo... Oh, my God! Oh my Jesus! 
That's Buddy Copoid coming through four in fourth with Rico A through oh, fifth. And there's one up and over. Big hits and big. Oh, my goodness. That's Alex Bowman and Connor Morrell. Who Field because David Crowell, brilliant. Oh, oh trouble. Oh, my. What a wicked crash for Carson Macedo. Atrocious on that 13 car. Here's one more look at it. Over the, or hits the wheel and boy. Oh, Johnny, what an impact to the left side of that race car. Kyle Larson into the third spot. Oh, car to the wall, it's Brad Sweet, upside down. Take a look at the Dirt Vision replay. Yeah, that right rear tire exploded oh, yeah. right at the end of the front stretch, sending him up and into the wall. Boy, the car dug in. It looked like it was going to scrub off enough speed, but then when it hit the wall, it dug in. Any damage to the roll cage there at all, the safety cell in which the driver sits. So here, look, doesn't hit the ground too heavily on the roof, maybe top right corner, but it's a proper washing machine of a roll. Now, Emma was heli to hospital for check. Moves across Katie Munning, shuts the door and head of Hozos. Hozos goes towards the back of the pack. Oh, Elias has a roll! Big, big roll! Clara Anderson goes over, she's binned the App Cooper in turn one. It's a big oh, old yeah, shot, that's going to be a red flag. flag. Front right, it's off, it's off, it's off the rim, broken suspension. Lyas Sands moves into the lead. Oh, 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 massive hit, and a roll! Munnings has gone over after running up the back of the streak and Veloce. Seppala in that MR2, but... Oh, and then Carnage gets rolled! Had a brilliant start, he's had an absolutely huge crash in Turn 1. Just as I'd said, what a great start he had, he was on the outside line. Yeah, can I kind of leave pirouettes with lands with wheels, how look, so watch, watch, watch. Up. Yeah. yeah, I think he might have got away with that. So do I. I think I think from a, it's going to hurt, and there'll be bent bits on the car. Oh, you legend! <laughs> yes, now that immediately you, know, you win everything tomorrow. Check out the screen. Oof. Oh, there you go. Uh, Munio, that's Hardy. Munoz oh. goes out. Whoa! He gets clobbered. Munoz gets clobbered. Oh! By Hicks. There's nowhere for Hicks to go. It's going to be a fun one. But for Dylan Ferrandez, he is not racing tonight after this crash yesterday on press day. And he's just coming back from a big one at Houston, RC. So you're thinking maybe he'll have a chance. This one took him out of it. Man, that was press day. Rarely do you see guys take these kind of crashes on a race weekend. And Jen gets pinched off by Ferrandez this time. And a huge pile up around the outside. Ouch. Oh, you hate yeah. to see it. And these riders are down and down hard. That's probably tangled up. And it's with the shortest start at Hangtown. Big, big pile up. God's going in. Um, oh, Corey Karsten, 281, yeah. goes for a ride. Geiser going after Renault. Top of the hill. Geiser! Oh, big crash for Tim Geiser. first MX2 race, that's for sure. We had a staggered start, restart of the race, but yeah, look, I'm going to say that. Craig Cook into the final turn here. Louis Kerr going for the big one. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. Wow. Have separated themselves. A big push coming now for Harvick. Oh, oh and around goes a couple cars. Priest upside down. He's barrel rolling through the grass. Ryan Priest. Upside down. They're going down the back straightaway. He makes a move or gets help from behind. And the car goes into the infield air. It just lifts right up off the ground. There goes the oh, one boy. to the outside of his teammate. Through the middle of the 21. Oh, my goodness. Mayer is turned. He's upside down. The caution is out. And now the question becomes, who was, the who was leading at the time of caution? So we're going to see a spin from the middle, the 66. He's going to come down and hit the inside wall very, very hard. And this is where the, the wall kicks out right there. And he that, that shot doesn't do justice. And look at this car. 
Barrel rolling down the back stretch. By the way, Dexter Stacy has also climbed from his race car. So this is Blaine Perkins. You see he's going to get hit. The car's going to catch the air, land right here on the roof, and here comes the barrel roll. Right when you get sideways like that, it starts to bite, and then off it goes. And at this point, you hope when it's up in the air that it doesn't land on the roof. Look at the parts and pieces just coming off that race car as it barrel rolls down the back straightaway. It's at six, seven times I think I saw that car go around. Two laps to go when we come around this time. And oh, there goes Daniel Hemrick off the big rack of Shelton oh, Reed. And this is the big one here at Talladega. Oh, my. Got one upside down. Is that That's Daniel Hemrick, Hemrick on his roof? Upside down. Takes the camera out. Yeah, here's a, a view of some of these hits into the wall. Here's how Hemrick gets over to 91. Takes a pretty good hit there. Riley Herbst looked like in the 98 riding right underneath of Hemrick as he went up on the wall. Chandler Smith got heavy damage. The last car in frame now. Boy, that looks similar to what happened to Smith. Yeah, clearly a mechanical issue. And that's that wall we talked about the same that. Oh, oh my gosh. See if we can get another view of it. There he is in the outside wall. He bounced off the wall and anchor him pretty hard as well. You got to make a decision. Is he going to go low or is he going to go high? And everybody ahead of Mills went low, and he elected to do that as well, but the hole closed up. Lacroix was down below the 27 of Ranger and up over top. A big wreck into turn number one. He gets into the lead. Nasca follows suit in second place. A little bit of argy bargy further back. And oh, Patrick Schauber. Patrick Schauber may have missed a gear or something there. Salvador de que siente que aquí puede pasar también por dentro. Acá Villarrobega hacia el contacto. Se metió por la parte adentro Salvador de Alba Junior. Habrá que ver la toma. Wow, Richards went in and double pulled. I don't think he meant to do that. Whoa, hang on. No, oh, no. Creasy's car made a hard move across the center line. They got together. And Sydney goes right in. Thorne follows suit. Chris Thorne, Sydney Frigo leave together. Chris Thorne going towards the center line. He's all over the place. Oh, oh no. no. Hard in the left side wall, Chris Thorne. Piña se pegaron. El paso de Pernia. Tremendo, eh. La, la ligó Tiago. Están. Y, y a ver. Uy, están, uy, están, uy, se queda sin frenos. Uy, 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 que piña le pegó. Se queda sin frenos. Se quedó ¿no? sin frenos. Sí, Claramente sí. se quedó sin frenos. Tremenda Claramente. piña. Mirá cómo quedó el auto de Stan. Montenegro que se ha escapado en la punta. Uy, que piña. Que piña tremenda de Escuncio Moro. Uy, 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 qué golpe tremendo. A ver, a ver. Uy, cómo salió. Se trabó. Qué bar. ¿Cuántas vueltas dio? Bueno, y ahí quedó, lo frenó. Porque justamente pegó del lado de él. Uy, qué fuerte. Uh, Tremendo. Uy, qué Uf. piña, eh. Tremenda piña, qué fuerte que salió, por Dios. Se quedó sin freno. Algo le pasó. Tremenda piña, claro, como le iba a volcar. Bueno. Y mantiene la punta de la carrera en el mano a mano atrás. Ganó Luque Uy, uh, uh, oh, Campillay. El vuelco de Campillay. Mirá, se destruyó el auto. Fíjense, ahí está, doble Cicolani. Sale algo, sale Mati, algo cruzado, Cincolani. Sí, se, Fer. Se, se bajó Josito de Palma del auto. Habla con Cristian Martínez, ya es abandono para el recifeño. El que viene al límite para tratar de que Pocro se le escape. Atrás se pegaron Bestani y Núñez. Bestani afuera. A ver. Bestani primero con Rotondo. Claro, de costado. Los de la amarilla. Uy, se pone... Ah... Y queda... Y el golpe más el temido, medio. el golpe en T. Sí, sí. Salvi y golpe a estos tres de adelante. Uy, el toque. Se pasaron un Bacaluso. poquito de la raya de Bacaluso que termina Escapado. sobre la Leca sin poder seguir en la carrera. Ay. 
Ay, uy, golpe fuerte ahí, ¿eh? A lo yácono. Me parece. Sí, sí, yo lo Muy fuerte el golpe, sí. Hay auto de seguridad. Se vienen para la horquilla. A ver ah, qué sucede con ya, la Ubiña. Ya, ya, Gran ya, trabajo. Ya, ya, Uy, ya, ya, se engancharon a tu Ubiña. ¿eh? Golpe fuerte para la máquina lo de Rubén Loyácono. Listo. Lo Patricio Sos ahora. Ahí está. Sí, sí, claro. Se pone de costado. Se clavó. Uh. Ah, bueno, este, no, es tema, este es el tema de las máquinas. ¿no? Claro. Este golpe es generado por la banquina, porque la, la verdad bien. venía bien y después se mirá las vueltas que da no, por la un desnivel. Había una mina escondida ahí. Y sí. Viene gente, el equipo de Aymar y el equipo Werner competición. Uy, atrás. Y atrás, ¿qué pasó? Uy, uy que viene de costado, la ligó el uruguayo, ¿eh? Lo agarra el fíjate, ahí le pega. Ya ese golpe ese es fuerte. golpe fuerte. Pero el que viene me parece que. Vos fíjate que ahí, no. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ah, no, sí, sí le pega sí, fuerte. fuerte, fuerte. Pero sí. bueno, acá... Con eh... mala suerte, porque fíjate que ve, le, ve que, que ves que frena, pero se lo encuentra. Moment that Kevin Magnussen and his race oh, oh, something broke there. Yeah, something broke on the car. We have a look more from off board. Uh, I think the right rear toe link or something broke there and sent him into the barriers. Come to a close, we're going to find out now. And that is a strange one. Looks like, unless there's been an issue with the car, it looks like he's uh, lost it with uh, combined lateral braking. Just misses the back of his teammate. The final corners of the three miles. Gasly goes, oh, oh he's going to put it in the wall. Big crash on board with Lance Stroll. He was trying to wring the neck of the speed there, and he finds... And he gets just fractionally too wide through 18. And that means that he can't turn in adequately for the second part of it. He just gets slightly wide. He's on the inside there of Crawford. Yeah, it gets a swap on. He actually just he touches. Is there a puddle there? He almost like, he touches the grass on the inside there. And, oh, and, and Boshon had nowhere to go. Uh, immediately checking. So Boshon was getting clear of the car and then uh, running back to make sure that Miney's... Uh, ...real shot for the incident for Zay Maloney. Oh, and he's caught from behind. Uh, he's caught from behind and turned into that, uh, turned into that outside wall. Is it this side? I think it's Roy Nissani in the PHM. Now we're watching the uh, oh, watch the orange car here. That's Mari Boyer with a big incident into the gravel. And I think he might. Here comes the battle for the lead, and the lead is held up. Here's the opportunity, and there's a touch, there's another touch. And that is going to be off the circuit. A huge incident, and he's driven straight into the Porsche. And the other Porsche's gone over the top. Both Porsches are out. Both Porsches are out. Oh, it was the slightest of touch on Look, Albuquerque. Uh, yeah, and they're all dicing amongst themselves, yeah. aren't they? I mean, you know, I don't think you can they're... really pin the blame. That might bring out a red flag. And... Oh, and there's Ouch. another car in the wall. Now, is that, does that mean there's something on the track? That's the EO Porsche. Wheel and tyre is uh, he's oh. very bad, badly pushed in on the Porsche. Ashton clipped too much of the kerb on the inside and might even have clipped the inside wall. Also, for the Vault Racing car and the WeatherTech car, But then PJ was just going way too quick. He's actually yeah. moved the concrete barriers there. He was never getting round the corner no. on the trajectory that he came in. I think Imza must have given Whoa. a wave by and off. That's Big off three car for the junior 30. three car. Harry Baylog. Ouch. That is the number 30. And that was just aquaplanage. Water under the weight. Oh, this is going to be a big one because there's another car doing exactly the same. It's going to hit it broadside. And it's Ben Keating who comes in and hits the other car. And now we get the red flag. And that was two accidents. in. Uh, uh, and he's the third one. And this is the 17 car that's going to hit Ben Keating now. And there is the another Ben racing car. You know, we've got a full course caution already. Uh, pits are closed. Oh, it's the Kelly Moss racing number 92 car. The AMG safety crew already uh, on the scene. And, oh, David, that's a big, big hit on driver's right. 
He's lost the car and in it went. But they have had big incidents this year. And oh, that's a brake failure. That is a brake failure or a stuck throttle. That you love and it can be as simple as literally banded tires. Man. And there they deform almost all the way back to the final barrier. This is Richard Westbrook in the Cadillac, just drifts over and makes contact with the 88 car, sending him into the barrier, as you can see. It's one of those mistakes, these cars are very long, it's hard to see the car alongside. It must have been a mistake from Keating. He was yeah. starting to pull away. What happened in that final corner? Oh, oh. That's Costantini, and it's a big one! All right. We've and seen turn one. So offline, on the yeah, on the, on the, gra on the, gra um, the dusty part of the track, and. Yeah, the tyre barrier has done its job well, but the problem with the tyre barrier is obviously it rebounds the energy and that sent the car just over gently. Oh, oh no, big oh, trouble. There. Big trouble. It's PJ Hyatt, so that looks like... Is that Radion? Yeah, that's the, the exit. Of, yeah. yeah, it There's is. There's a red, red flag, flag immediately. immediately. Yeah, that's yeah, the exit of, that of Radion. Radion. If we get a, a replay of that, it will be the car coming backwards over the brow. And after just Take setting... Yeah, here we go. Straight to the barrier there. A lot of energy going into that tyre barrier. Look at the pace they've got, and by the way, the Aston Martin you just saw coming out. Oh, the oh, is a big one, oh. Rouge, big one. Safety car will be out because that is not going to be tidied up in a hurry. That is the number three Cadillac of Renga van der Zander. He's on the right line. Oh, oh. it's just, you know, it's like as the car bottomed. It bottomed in Rouge, and that just sent it. He straddled the curb, didn't he? But I'm afraid. A big tank slapper for the D-Station, 777 Aston Martin, run by TF Sport. And then everybody's avoiding him. Nicky Katzberg there was out quite wide, vigorously waved yellows before the incident. I'm afraid. Full on the binders. But... Yeah, and in the driver's side as well. So let's see what happened here. And way off in that... Oh, off of that dirty stuff, and then you've got no control coming back on. Oh, my oh. heavens. United car. The United car just absolutely goes into the side of the Porsche. Let's take a look here. Oh, oh. contact from... That was the Toyota. That was, was the that Toyota. The leader? Oh, I think it was the eight car. car. I think it was contact from the eight. problems already somebody has gone in that is the 35 car a massive accident for Alice Cascatau this weekend Dave Richardson and uh, that's the problem with the Norris ring is it does give us some very nasty incidents like this doesn't it do you know I'm just watching that in replay Brian and just the way that car snapped a mess of the into the 40k. Oh, and there's that's, the full racing car as well. That's, that's Colin Noble trying to make good his escape. Oh, 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 turned to the wall. Merrick's that was coming through and on the inside of Andy Merrick. There's a big shot for Andy Merrick. And that might bring out a safety car, and if it does... In that uh, tussle. Oh, huge incident heading into La Fania corner, and that's the back of John Melson's car, so that has to be Owen Creed. Well, both drivers are out and OK on their way to Manchester. So oh, the team no. Brick car has had a spin and then has rejoined, and the hut, that might look really, really stupid. Why has he done that? Teammates, you see Ian on the right there in the blues, we get the replay, so they're only a tenth apart. James behind. Oh, oh it's absolutely brutal. They've just caught the end of the tyre barrier. Luckily, are we going to have a full course yellow? Let's take it a replay. Well, it looks as the 87 R&B Racing Porsche got in on the mix. There may have been contact, but so the outcome was Andrew McPherson's car suddenly snapped to the left and went into the tyre wall. Early part of the race to rotate the drivers through, uh, give them a stint, get everybody oh. through. And off goes right into the barriers. Uh, I'm afraid Sean Balfe just lost the tail end of the car and very quickly the Garage 59 McLaren. And they've done it in the first hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Big, big off there. That's the Grove Porsche down at turn one. That's down to Colt Tyres and Stephen Grove's out of the race with a lot of damage. It's another car off at, I think, turn one. But he's uh, done the front of the car. Got back past the head of Lorenzo Ferrari once more. So they've swapped and swapped back. And that was all on the same lap. You look at the oh. lap charts and you never know. And that's a big accident for Tsunami. And were they on their own when that happened? That's on the running towards turn number five, is that? It's now gone, which is really disappointing. Uh, whether Stefano Borghi was trying to stay ahead of Mark Radcliffe on the road or was trying to overtake him, that replay does not show. And I was just wondering whether he, he had so much speed.
Taip, išvažiuoja. Čiausiai įslikus buvo pakeistus ir padangos. Ir čia prašau. Labai smarkiai nuslydo. Ir čia jau tiesiog Tauldas Rudokas tapo keleivis ir nieko negalėjo padaryti. Kabino šlaitą ir automatiškai šlaitas išmetė automobilį į viršų. Ir jis pataikė į bokštelį. Svarbiausia, kad liko visi sveiki. Žinojus incidentas trasoje. Valentino Rossi vs. Sheldon van der Linde. Oh, big accident of the Rettafilio. That is, sure. that is the Ivan Jacoma car, isn't it? The 24. Oh, contact. Ooh. And that was a big hit. A hit actually at a Marshall's post. Look at the damage to the front of the car. But more importantly, when the car turned sharp left. And certainly got damage. Sus suspension damage. The car is crabbing and there's the Ferrari. Oh, oh. That's for Silva, four wide, and into the lead of the class suddenly goes Frank Bird. The Audis get together, and off goes one of the Gold Cup Audis at high speed into the barriers and into the gravel. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear me. Hendrik still going straight in. Oh, so Aston Martin is putting fluid on the circuit. That would be why everybody lost it. And that's why it also expired uh, on circuit. So there is the... Escape of the scene. Oh, my goodness me. Henrik Steele drops it, and he's not the only one to go in. As all of a sudden, on the scene, that's the 24 Porsche collection car. Quello che può essere l'handicap velocistico della 992 con la propria classe, ma attenzione perché c'è stata una toccata mentre i piloti dalla Roggia andavano safety car e coinvolta anche una Mercedes, una Ferrari. Ferrari, la Ferrari che divide con Thomas Piaget. C'è stata una bruttissima botta proprio alla Roggia. Guardiamo che Andiamo adesso. Ah, sì, sì, sì. sì C'era la Porsche che era sì. in ghiaia e in... in... Sì. Marco Sieber for a place in the top ten. Oh. I was contact. So Sieber's gone into the back. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness me. me. It's gone on its side and come to a halt. To off of turn 20, and Manny just took the invitation. Charlotte trying to squeeze in. Whoa! Oh. Big contact between the two and hard into the retaining wall. Two contending cars eliminated in turn one with 55 minutes to go. Rejoins oh. right oh. and that's the leader. Oh no. George Kurtz straight into the back. Now Samantha Tan has to get around. Somehow they do so. Safety car is out. Here's a replay of what happened. All uh, right, so Engelhart has lost it because it's greasy. Skittles down the inside on the grass through turn one. He's going to clatter into the Porsche of uh, Guen, who has nothing to do with that. That is really unlucky for Ian, uh, Ian and Guen, who has had a big hit there. You can see him wincing in the car. Had the braking retar retardation. Uh... But there's absolutely no retardation there from the 72. He hasn't even had the opportunity to slow down. Поехали! Как там Мещеряков сразу агрессивно, смотрите, уходил вдоль стены. Очень хороший старт у него. Ой, Олег Семенов за пределы трассы. Катастрофа, посмотрите, разбиты три машины. Ух ты! Кизила в небе! Такого я не видел. Akira Aida up along the Pit wall. He's had this perpetual battle with the Lamborghini and it's ended very badly indeed. Contact on the start, finish straight. A few other cars immensely lucky to avoid that, but with the Corvette.
attenzione l'attacco di Riguari prova a rispondere Borrelli molto piegato in accelerazione purtroppo contatto spaventoso nel vedersi nella sua dinamica per fortuna is our answer as to what happened oh, oh my goodness me we said he went to the moon and back in Indonesia oh his leg oh, his leg. oh. here we go it's that blue bike look at that go just stepped out really quick Mallory Dobbs making it through there and Beamer had nowhere to go I mean that bike just stood up and then came right down on Beamer looks like Nadia shoots just bringing up the rear oh a rider down someone's clipped is that more oh shoots is also Nadia shoots unfortunately couldn't stop in time but uh so right down, that's a red flag. But here's another angle. So that was Nadia Schutz, and uh, that's former World Superbike rider in the shape of Josh Brooks. Oh dear, that's Camille Holland. Marshalls and everyone else involved. This, oh, it's at the end. So it was Camille Holland just at the finish. What a shame for the Czech Republic rider. Third place it is now for Ellis and Clemon. And that's out. That's Martin Kirk. That's Martin Kirk and Simon Robinson, it looked like. Vai ser chumbo para todo lado. Balançou, balançou, balançou. Segura, 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 segura. Queda do, do piloto. Pro, pro carro de resgate ali. Tudo certo, a, a barreira de proteção absorveu praticamente todo o impacto.